Hey guys, I'm Miro Emanello and on this video I will teach you to create the world servers. This is a really important tutorial that I should have done already at a long time ago. And let's start it. So first of all I want to give you some information. So <clears throat> I'm using Windows 7 and this tutorial, this tutorial works in 0.6, 0.5 and 0.7 the world versions. So, so that's it. I also want you to know that there are some buttons on this video that you could click to skip some parts on the video if you already know how to make them. So let's just start. So first of all, let's create the, the configuration of the server with the main and most important comments. You can know all the comments on the zero page that is on the description. So first of all, let's open Notepad. Here it is. And now I have I have a configuration already created. I will just let you know what does everything uh, mean. So the server name is the name of the server. The server port is the port. Uh, try to use A303 to A310 uh, if you want to create LAN servers. If you want to create online servers, you can use almost every port. Um, you need to open your ports. I will teach you that later. So the SVMAX clients, it's the MAX clients that can join the server at the same time. And the SVMAX clients per server, or IP and not per server, sorry. It's MAX clients that you can join in the same IP. So normally people use two, do not use one because you, uh, some people have brothers and they want to play together and they can't if you have this value like one. So try to use two at least. The SV register is like the most important comment to let you know if you want to make the, the server online or offline. So if you want to make a LAN server, use SV register 0. If you want to make an online one, uh, SV register 1. Uh, remember that you will be uh, forced to open some ports and I will teach you that later. You can click on the button on one of the buttons on this video. Okay, the SV map. Um, it's map that will be used on your server, like it's obvious. In this case, I will use that match one. Um, and the SV game type that is not here, but it should SV game type. It's the game type of the server. On this case, I will use like that match. If you want to create, if you want to make uh, modded servers, you can use like either race, But remember that you will be forced to download the, the files of the of that same uh, game type. The SVR con password is the admin password, in this case I will use the password admin. The password is the password to join the server, if you want to make a private server use a password like it's obvious, in this case I will use the password with the number 1. The SV powerups is the powerups in the case it's, uh, it's ninja for example. The SV vote kick is to uh, is so can uh, players could be able to vote kick other players and the SV vote kick ban time is the time that uh, someone will be banned in the case it's 5 so it's like 5 minutes so after making your configs you can make it uh, and you can get more information on the worlds page go to save has go to your t worlds folder or in this case I'm already in my t worlds folder change to all files create the name of the server in this case I will go to like server dot cfg so config and save it so the second part of this tutorial is to teach you to make the server run to make that you will, you will need to create a bad file remember that this is a windows tutorial so do not try to use a bad file under linux for example or under mac so open a new notepad file a new yeah and write the tworlds uh, underscore srv.x this exact file you could be not be able to see the .x but you will need to write it dash rf and now the name of the file that you have just created in this case is server.cfg go to save has go to your tworlds folder all files and now we will call it like you can use uh, what name you want to so like runner dot bat dot bat and save it so the new file is not created it's a bat file 
and you can now run it and server will just start running. Fine. Well, now let's go to see the final results. Guys, you might have a question. If you don't have an unofficial map, how can you how can you use it on your server? So let's make it easy. So press on the config directory dot bat that is on your tools folder and it will open this folder right here. So right here you have lots of uh, all everything that you always use like like uh, demos and stuff like that. Press the maps one and choose a map that you want to use. I will use in this case I do it's a video based map but it works fine. Go back to your tools folder, go to data and then go to maps and paste the map. I do dot map then go here and change it to I do you don't need to use the dot map save and run server. Well guys, for the final step I need to teach you to open your ports if you want to create an online server. So let's go. First of all write port forwarding. Yeah. Then the name of your router and then Minecraft server. Press enter and go to the first one. And it will teach you to create uh, to open your ports that you will be able to use uh, on tools just like on any other game. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Get a medals off. Subscribe to Tiwars Tutor. It was a pleasure to help you. Give a comment and bye.